Alrighty. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I thought I'd do something I haven't done in a very long time. Um, do a do like a commentary video on um on various on various stuff like uh like Twitch Reddit here. Um, I'll do this from time to time on various forums. Just pull one of these up. Um, get off the OBS and just have and just sit on and give commentary on uh forum posts and whatnot. So. Like I said, this is something I haven't done in a long time, so. And I saw the, I saw this here. Uh, by a guy, by a guy named Timmy Kush. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and as this is a pretty good, pretty good topic, I'll go ahead and like it. But this is something I like to do from time to time. Just do running commentary. Sorry to sound like a broken record, but I always wonder this. I do stream here and there, but I mainly do it to capture moments with the friends. Clips of funny moments in Um, this I kinda agree with too. I will probably end up elaborating on this later on, but um I don't I don't do the I don't do this solely for viewers. You know, it's a, it's almost like fishing. I mean, I mean, yeah, if the the fish are biting, the fish are good eating. You know, that might be the case, but on the downside, all the fishermen are going to be there. I mean, the waters are just heavily overfished. You know, by the time I get there, it might be nothing left for me. You know, so so yeah, it, I'd be more. I'd be more into just bringing my canoe out to the water and just kick it back, kick it back and relax, and then, you know, go to Walmart and buy some fish or something. But yeah, I want to be out there fishing. So, kind of, kind of the same thing here. Fishing is a waste when the waters are already heavily fished. Oh, and also, um, I am improvising this whole thing. That something else I often forget to mention on all my other commentary videos. I'm just making it up as I go along. I don't use a script or anything. So my question is, what do you stream? Do you do it for your own personal recordings? Do you do it to me? Um, my reasoning, a little bit of everything. Uh, first, it's to me, it's a cheap therapy. It also gives me some. It also gives me something, if not someone, to talk to. Because um, when it in when it comes to streaming, um, talking talking to yourself out loud is acceptable. Because you have to stream. It's kind of unwritten protocol, but you have to stream as though people are there watching you, even when there actually isn't. So this is great for me because in real life, I hardly talk to anybody. I hardly talk to any of my coworkers. I hardly talk to anybody at home, or I hardly talk to my family except visit my mom every few weeks, and that's about it. So, streaming on Twitch is actually a great outlet for me. So, um, as far as uh, as far as attracting viewers, it's a plus. I mean, it's a big plus, but it's crazy as it might sound, it's not a requirement. Um, I just find streaming to be a lot more fun than just just creating and uploading videos. I used to do that a lot back when I was playing Diablo 2, but after a while, I just got bored with it. It's not much fun as uh, actually streaming in the hopes that uh, people are going to be there watching you and maybe even cheering you on, which now that I think about it, this is actually a throwback to like old 80s arcades, excuse me, to old 80s arcades. You know, you're bullet to Robotron and you're just, you know, and you got like, Little kids crowding around you watching. Oh my God, he's gonna beat the high score! Yeah, you know, got all these guys watching you cheering you on while you're playing this game and stuff. Streaming video games to me is strikes me as such. It's such a throwback to back at those times. So that that's another reason why I'd rather stream than just just simply upload videos. But as I stated a few minutes ago, um, my reasonings on this is. It's not purely altruistic. I don't do it solely to get viewers in there. Um, 
I also think there's a level of disrespect in there. Like, when the only reason you're on there is just to get viewers. Um, almost like a politician just out there to get votes. Like, you really couldn't give two shits about you. Like, if it was an actual, normal, everyday, regular, regular Joe, person-to-person type thing, you probably couldn't care less about you. But the politician feels he has to talk to you, he has to get to know you and become your friend and whatnot just to get a vote out of you. Um, to me, streaming for the sole purpose of attracting viewers is, to me is also along those same lines. It's very disrespectful. You're, you're treating people as potential subs, i.e. potential income, or i.e. customers. You're treating your viewers like you're treating like customers. You know, which is, now that I think, now that I think about it is also another reason why I like streaming. I work at a job where I have to deal with customers daily. And um, you basically have to kowtow to them due to, due to customer service protocol. You have to be like overly nice and yes, yes master, yes master type stuff. You know, it, you know, so, you know, stream, streaming video games, I can deal with you as an equal, you know, and, and not not be bound by any official rules or anything like that or not going to worry about it. I don't have to worry about getting written up if I say the wrong thing to a viewer. All he's going to do is just simply leave. You know, no repercussions. Unlike in, unlike in the real world, in whatever job you work, you know, you tick off a customer, you know, and then, I want to speak to your manager, and then complain to the manager, and you get fired. Or, or if you're lucky, just get written up, you know, so that kind of thing. So that's another reason why I like streaming. The customer service doesn't exist. If you want to post specs for your PC, and, um, as far as comparing goes, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't know the exact stats. I do know that the computer I use for streaming is an entry-level gaming computer with um, with a four gigabyte upgraded mem up upgraded graphics card that causes my computer to restart restart every once in a while. Um. There are certain things, there's certain routines that I have to do on my computer. Like, I cannot let my computer fall asleep because the moment I wake it up or a short time after I wake it back up, it uh, it uh, automatically restarts or forcibly restarts. Um, it, the graphics card I use on my computer is basically incompatible with it. So, certain things that I can't remember right now, I have to... I have to do. Excuse me. There are certain things that I have to do that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Otherwise, my computer automat my computer randomly restarts. So, so the stats, the stats aren't that great. This is, this is basically what I have right here. Four gigabyte uh, graphics card and a eight gigs of RAM. I definitely don't have that. I think uh, I think my stream quality is like 550. So, but here, before I forget to mention, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go straight down, straight down the thread, and comment in everybody else's posts. Um, I'm not trying to call out anybody. I'm not trying to embarrass anybody or anything like that. But I find it easier to just simply, to just simply talk it out, as opposed to just typing it out. I mean, I'm Final Fantasy XIV, the main game I play right now, and before then, Path of Exile, I often posted blogs, and I do a metric ton of typing, uh, typing out the text, um, trying to try to insert images, GIFs, and recently, memes, so I already do enough typing as it is, so it's nice to be able to just talk it out and not just and not type it out for the umpteenth time. <clears throat> Once again, just gonna go down the thread and just comment in everybody else's posts. And um, excuse me. When the posts start getting redundant, or if I'm really sounding like a broken record, then I'll probably just cut off the video then. Oh, Carl, 2002. 
I'm assuming that was what, what that means. MMII, 2002. She was from my roommate, and I'd hang out with friends. I think, um, I think, uh, Joe Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, his, um, his podcast started out this way, too. Just, uh, him and, him and one of his buddies, I don't, I can't remember his name, but I think he does all the tech for the show. Him and his buddy was on there just chatting it up, but that's how he got his start. Just relax, but with that, we are just. Yep. <laughs> yep. Can't forget to put that in there. Um. I know what he means, but I don't detest my job. I will never bite the hand that feeds me. So, but on the other hand, yeah, I I stream because it's just getting away from my job, a nice break away from my job. Again, again, because customer service has no place in streaming. So, both creating video games. Ew. I think um, I think me, and like I'm pretty sure a lot of other gamers out there, we'd love to design games. But the problem is, that's a big, huge barrier to act for me. I, I'm no fan of college. The most I might do, um, I have been looking into first responder training. Um, they got one that's like a. 600 bucks yeah 600 bucks um, every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and I think the class goes for like two or three months that's the closest I'll ever get to to go doing to call going to college but because I don't for one I don't have the money and I don't have the time and um, far too often throughout my life I've seen people go to college but can't find a job and I've worked with quite a few of those kind of people over the years they go to college, they graduate, but they can't find deadly squat for the work that they went to college for. So, there they are, working at Walmart. Or any other grocery store that I used to work at. to change his username from Helix Effect to Twisty Shape due to Helix having hell. Yeah, there's some websites out there that are that picky. You got hell in your name. It's getting censored or not allowed. And again, I deal with this daily too, but on the other hand, I don't hate my job either. If you hate a, if you hate a job that much, quit. I mean, if you dread every single day of your job, just get out of the damn thing. I mean, if you hate it that much, I mean, otherwise, it's just a pointless rant then. But like I said, I do, I definitely agree with this. I mean, I I work the night shift. So I'm basically work your how, how can I put this? So you basically you're dealing with um non sociable people being smashed together. Or right here, here this this would probably make more sense here. You're it's it's a place full of people who don't like being around people being smashed together with other people who also don't like being around people. And this goes for customers too. You know, usually customers shop at night because they're not people people or they're not people persons. So they're in a store 
with other people who also aren't people persons. And see, you can only imagine the kind of friction that causes. But moving right along. Being autism and barely have good friends. And um, even uh, and autists and our retarded people really have it rough because uh, even even bullies are buddies. They're all good friends. They go out drinking and partying and whatnot. So, I mean, bullies can always find friends no matter where they go. Retarded people and autistics have a big time problem because very few people want anything to do with them. Even people that aren't bullying them don't want anything to do with them and I speak from experience on this. I I generally keep my distance from them. I probably find them as annoying as everybody else does. It, it's not a hate thing, it's just, it's a Joe thing. Dispier? Oh, 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 oh. I had dark path of dispier. I think he means despair. I think that's what he means. There you go. But to me, I think he practically won the lottery when he found the uh, awesome team, uh, found the uh, youth club for autism. Because I'll bet they don't. I mean, I bet they ain't nowhere near as popular as, like, convenience stores where they're all across the street from each other. Yeah, I'm gonna put a like on that. Not them as their gamers or artists. New streams make better. Yep. This right here. This is one upside at all. I mean, those. Um, I think um, what the small streamers lack in viewers, they make up for in personability. They're a lot more likely to be friendly and a lot more likely to talk to you, and a lot more likely to actually talk to you as a person, not as just not as a potential sub. Whereas the top end streamers. The guys who have like hundreds of viewers on their on their streams, they're probably gonna care a lot less about you. Hey, again, it's all it's almost like politicians. They're less they're less concerned about you as a person, and more concerned about you as a viewer, or you as a bill payer, or you as a customer. So, but yeah, I'm like this too the very few people that come on my stream and actually talk to me, I'm much more likely to stop what I'm doing and actually actually talk to them. Whereas um, a lot of the big streamers I've seen, they're, they're usually too busy uh, appealing to popularity to actually talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. They're too busy, you know, you know playing, their, playing their game because, you know, they got to perform, you know. They're much less likely to just stop and talk to you. that on that yeah I'm gonna go ahead and like his and I'll go ahead and like his as well this is kind of this is kind of me as well if given a choice between fame or monetary gain and a community I'm going with the community I mean I already I mean, I work, I work for Walmart, and which is, which is probably the best job I've ever had. Of the jobs I've, of the other jobs I've had, Walmart is the best. So, I already make enough money to where I can pretty much support myself. I mean, I think um, Malcolm Forbes probably said it perfectly years ago. Money isn't everything as long as you have enough. So, I mean, if you're sitting on a huge stockpile of money, that's money that's being wasted. I mean, 
to me, even if you're, unless maybe, if you had enough money in your bank account to where you could live off the interest generated from it, I could probably see that. But I mean, when you got, when you got big oil or, you know, big, huge, wealthy businessmen that have millions of dollars sitting in a bank account doing nothing, you know, basically hoarding wealth, that's money that's wasted to me. So, so my opinion on that. Um, yeah, I'm not much of a comedian, mostly because I'm too busy playing, I'm mostly too busy, A, playing the game I'm playing, or B, listening to the, listening to the vinyl records that I'm playing, so I'm usually too distracted. But yeah, if I ever had the kind of community that I'm guessing this guy has, I'd probably say the same thing. Just have fun. Hope that people have fun watching me. That's simply put. He feared rejection and he regretted it every day. <clears throat> and this here is probably gonna be a this is probably gonna be another another back of my mind reason why I stream. Because uh, I'm 46 years old right now, and I'm not getting any younger. So, and I don't, I don't want to go to my grave just, just doing nothing but uh, reading books, playing video games, and no connection to to the community whatsoever. I mean, I don't want to die. I don't want to go out like that. So, that's another. It's a reason I have in the back of my mind. I mean, it's not, it's not something I put forth out there all the time when somebody asks me why I stream. But it is in the it is in the back of my mind. I mean, I'm I'm getting older, so and I don't want. I mean, I don't want to be totally completely silent all, all the way up until death. So. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and like kids as well. And I guess um now that I think about this. You should never ever be afraid of rejection. At least in and of itself. If you're going to be afraid of something, be afraid of the re of the repercussions involved. That's what I'd probably fear more than anything. I mean, there is... I think there is some uh, Eastern philosophy saying, some Confucius saying. Um, I wish I I wish I could remember what it was, but uh, like no success without failure or something like that. I don't know what it is exactly but but yeah like I said a few moments ago you should never be afraid of failure if if you are going to be afraid of something be afraid of the repercussions involved trust me on this um, I actually made a Final Fantasy 14 blog post about it I post every so often I post it on a, my Final Fantasy 14 blog my Path of Exile blog back when I played it um, I mean the failure doesn't bother me it's but if anything, it's all the money and time I put into streaming and not really getting much of a return out of it. I'm like an uber small streamer. I mean, I think statistically, for the amount of hours I put into streaming, my average viewership is like 0.33. So pretty damn low. So I mean, and I probably spent a grand total of uh, $2,600 on streaming. That's an awful lot of money for for the, the very few amount, the very scant amount of people that show up. But that's, but that's about as far as fear of failure goes. I mean, that's it. I mean, so, so I kind of wish I was around to tell them this, you know, don't be afraid to fail. If you're gonna worry about something, worry about the, worry about the consequences of your actions. Super best friends play. And yeah, this is another inspiration for me streaming too. Uh, for probably about six months, I was watching other streamers, mostly on Diablo 2. And somewhere I got in my head like, I could do that. So 
once I said that, I started on my path to streaming myself, so. I even played with the idea of doing my own channel, but just like my uncle, I feared rejection. Um, again, again, my advice to Major Creep, you should never be afraid of rejection. If you got to worry about something, think of the repercussions behind it. Not the, not the failure itself. I guess um, another thing that comes to mind, uh, Rage Against the Machine has a song called uh, Township Rebellion. Um, the words are forever, the, the chorus is forever etched on my mind. Why stand on a crowded platform? Fight the war. Fuck the norm. Same thing here. That's probably another reason why I stream. Um, all my uh, stream style was developed to to avoid doing all from to avoid doing all the things I see other streamers do that I can't stand. Um, I play vinyl records because one, it's a medium that I've never I've never um, listened to before. Um, I think my mom had some records, but I've never had a collection of my, of my own. I grew up listening to cassettes, so vinyl was a medium that I was never. I've never took up, so I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone? I've never streamed before either, so why not stream my games while listening to vinyl? And also, it was um, it's it was something that I hardly saw, or let me rephrase that: I don't think I saw anybody else do. Everybody else just went with Spotify, or they went with Amazon Prime, or they went with free music. You know, they just download free stuff. But I mean, you get what you pay for. Most of the stuff they're playing, I. I couldn't get into it all, and um, the the music, the good music that I was familiar with that they played, would often get muted due to copyright. And now that I think about it, that's also another reason why I stream on Twitch and not YouTube, because with Twitch, if you play copyrighted music, all they're gonna do is mute that particular the offending piece of music. That's all they're gonna do. Uh, whereas uh, YouTube, they'll sit there and just um, flag your entire video for copyright, put ads all over it, which I don't want. Just, just for that one tiny piece of song. In fact, uh, um, back when I was streaming Pinball Arcade, I used to put, um, I used to export my stream vids on YouTube because I didn't play any outside music. But even then, there was a couple pinball games on there I couldn't play because they had songs on there that would cause my video to be flagged for copyright. So, I couldn't play those pinball game. I couldn't play those pinball games when I streamed it. And when that happened, the entire video got flagged, and that, and it was all covered with ads. So. Um. Making the move from Mixer to Twitch. Right, second Mixer has 6249. You should track the influence farmers for Forza Twitch. Uh, yeah. Man, I'm going like crazy here. Because I game all day anyway and I needed a hobby. <laughs> That's pretty much me. I mean, another way. Another reason I do this is just <clears throat> might as well be more productive with my time instead, you know, you got all this stream and upload technology, why not use it? Instead of just sitting here, uh, you know, just gaming all by your lonesome. Okay, um... Okay, I could probably go all day doing this, but, um, uh, my time's running short now. Um, I still gotta, I still gotta have my lunch, and I still gotta shower, shave, and all that. I have to work tonight. Plus, I gotta stream tonight as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and whoosh, cut it off here. And plus, the posts are they're pretty much starting to look redundant. So I'll just so I'll just go ahead and kill it here. Like I said, I still got more stuff I have to do this morning. So now's about as good as time as any. So so. Uh, 
I'll be streaming later on tonight between 6 to 6 30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. But until then, take care, everybody, and thanks for watching.